President of the Philippines, Rodrigo Roa Duterte. I was elected uh, June 31st. Nag-oath ako. So, July, nagpunta na ako sa, Dav sa uh, AFP Medical Center. Nakwinto ko na ba ito sa ito? Hindi pa. Tapos sabi ko, quite familiar kasi I signed a lot of no, no mayor. Sabi ko, may MR ba kayo? Sabi ko, sabi niya, wala, sir. Sabi ko, may state-of-the-art ba kayo na X-ray? Sabi ko, sabi niya, wala, sir. Sabi ko, may, ba, may hyperbaric ba kayo? That's the chamber where you are placed inside. So if you suffer events, yung, you are the, nag -de deep dive ka. But it is also high pressure that can arrest uh, gangrene, especially those who are... Uh, extracted uh, from the field of battle about two days now. Gangrene sets in, so they are placed there, and it can work miracles for a wounded soldier. So, in one upuan, in one setting, you, know, you did this, uh, then I saw the building when I went inside, yung drainage nila bumabalik. So I said, you know, I'm really surprised. Yeah, military men, would you, why would you allow that kind of thing? The, the dirt is going back to the... How do you expect the sailors to... The, the soldiers to get well? Last month, I went at, to the back of uh, my office, doon sa barracks ng presidential guards. So they were groundbreaking for the hospitals of the soldiers. And I asked the soldiers who were there also from Bilona, are, are, are you now using the equipments? Alam mo ang sinagot sa akin, sir. Tayo-tayo na lang mag-usap, huwag na lang yan sila. Tayo na wala pa. Hindi pa na-deliver. Sabi ko, if this is the way how you treat our soldiers, and they are dying now, and that machine was ordered a year ago. Then, a cordita, a mutiny, is not a surprise to me. Kaya sabi ko kay Ubiyan, hindi niya kasalanan, it's because of the procurement. Pero ganun kahaman. Secretary Villar here, Ubial. Are you here, Secretary? Change the procedure because I will change you. <laughs> President of the Philippines. Rodrigo Roa Duterte.